How you doing? This is Sean McVay, Sean's Outdoor Adventures. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to tune the new Elite Cure, as well as the Elite Result. Both of these bows have the new set technology that Elite came out with this year, which I'm very impressed by. And um, it has the new Tri-Track cam system, so you can adjust the draw length, up to 7 inch draw length range, right there on there on the cam and you can go in like quarter inch increments it's pretty impressive you also have the adjustability of going from about a 70 percent let off to a roughly 90 percent let off and in this video i'm going to talk about the, the set technology for using that for tuning and one thing that they say right there in the instructions is you you know when you're setting your center shot uh you want it you want that arrow center and your knock on dead on and they do recommend taking an arrow laying it across the riser here and seeing if it's parallel with your arrow here I will say I have a QAD ultra rest HDX arrow rest on here and the rest itself juts out a little bit so if I was to lay this arrow on the riser and have it kind of sticking back you know farther here it's not going to give me a true reading because the arrow rest is going to kick the back end out so if you're going to do this you want to make sure that your arrow rest does not get in the way of that type of a reading so when I put it on like this it's fairly close but it looks like my rest goes out just a little bit the tips the tip of my point that's the arrow that's knocked on my string you know as I look at that it's farther away from this arrow here then it is then the arrow is back by my hand so that means this arrow rest could go in a little bit another tool i really like to use in this type of situation is a caliper so you just take the back end measure off the riser to the back of the arrow you get that measurement and you go to the front and you see if it's equal and i can see that it is not it's actually the front is out farther than the back so I do need to have this arrow rest come in just a small amount, a very small amount. So I'm going to do that before we do anything else with the set technology, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to try to hold this and see if I can, you know, get this on video for you. So they're pretty parallel there, and um, what I'm going to do is shoot through the paper now with a 350 grain arrow and uh, see what kind of a tear we get. Obviously you want to make sure you're using the correct spine for this type of a, a test. Alright, so I basically have pretty much a bullet hole. Right here is my, uh, my shot. So, um, I mean it is very very close. In, a, in the real world I really wouldn't want to do much uh, let me just zoom in real quick. So I had a hole from a different test I did the other day in the paper here. That's down here. The one I just shot is up here. Let me zoom in on that. It's a pretty good hole. I mean, you know, I could do a little fine tuning. But what I'm going to do in this situation is I'm actually going to take the set technology and I'm going to crank it like a quarter of a turn on top and bottom and see what that does to our tear. So this is the shot I just took right right here alright so let's make an adjustment here right here is the lockdown screw so I'm going to loosen that first so I loosened the lockdown screw right here there's also a screw up above that which is for the shoulder this is your adjustment screw on the side so let's do right here is where the island wrench is going in let's go clockwise a quarter of a turn Okay, now I'm going to tighten this back down. Let's do the same on the bottom. So I'm loosening the locking screw in on the face that faces you when you're shooting. Now here is your adjustment screw. I'm going to go a quarter of a turn clockwise. Now I'm going to lock it back in. Let's take a shot. Same exact arrow.
All right. So as you can see, that gave us a left knock tear. Let's zoom in on that. So that shot gave us a left knock tear. I do have a slightly, um, my, my knock tear is just a hair low. That's just a simple, um, very faint movement of the rest. This one here, my first shot, I could see a, a faintly low knock tear right there. Um, so I would just simply bring this back by putting the quarter turn back in and then my arrow rest, I'd just bump it just a hair to get rid of that vertical right there. So in this situation, um, since I'm giving this bow away and I'm going to be taking this arrow rest back off, um, I'm not going to bother getting it perfect with the vertical. I'm going to loosen these and put that quarter turn back in counterclockwise to get it back to where we had it before. And that way it's close for whenever one of you gets this bow in the giveaway that I'm doing. And I'll tell you, that is really nice. Just a matter of turning some screws. You don't need a bow press. You're not putting twist or removing twist and yokes. Um, really awesome technology. And I was talking to the, to the guys at the ATA show, like, how did you think up this idea for this way of tuning? And the guy that I was talking to, he, you know, he's worked on bows a lot of years. And, and at times in the past when nothing else would work, he'd have to shim the limbs you know and in shimming the limbs he would be able to get the right kind of arrow flight that you need and it's a lot of work to shim the limbs but that concept of shimming the limbs is what gave them this idea to pivot the limb pocket and man awesome idea to me that's a game changer this is a really neat technology and it's just a matter of turning the screws it says right in the owner's manual right here you know how to do it if you um if you need to turn if you you turn it clockwise for a tail right tear and you turn it counterclockwise for a tail left tear so i put a quarter turn clockwise in that gave us a left tear and it says turn it counterclockwise for a left tear so i just simply took a quarter turn back out turning counterclockwise that's going to bring me back to here and have this bow ready for one of you but you can just follow along the instructions right in the owner's manual. Really easy. Getting the center shots really easy. You just hold another arrow right along there like I showed you. And that put us, I mean, look at how it put us right there. <laughs> um, just from doing it like that. Came from the factory pretty much, pretty much ready to go. So if you've been following this series on how to be part of the giveaway for this bow, I'm giving this bow right here that I'm holding away in, away in the month of August. Got to follow my website. I'm going to put an announcement when to register for the giveaway. And the way you win is track the scripture verses that I've been throwing in each video. I'm going to call somebody live and say, hey, what was the scripture verse from this particular video? The scripture verse for this one is 1 Peter 3, 18 through 21. I think this is a really neat passage. Um, one, it mentions how when Jesus, after Jesus died on the cross, he didn't go to heaven. He went and preached to the souls in prison that they might actually be saved. This was the souls of the people who did not reject God and so were not damned to hell, but obviously they couldn't go to heaven because Jesus hadn't opened the gates of heaven yet. So he actually went and preached to them those three days while his body lay in the tomb. And it also mentions how baptism is that necessary thing that saves us now that Jesus gave us. So it's, it's kind of a, a loaded little passage and I, I was just thinking about that one. It's pretty cool. So check that out. First Peter 3, 8, 3, 18 through 21. And those of you who are interested in winning this bow for free, make sure you uh, follow the rest of the videos because this one is going away to one of you in the month of August. Looking forward to it. I can't wait to see the smile on someone's face. Until then, take care and God bless.